when I first started my coaching business, I took a big leap. I talk about that in my new book, Evolve Your Coaching Business. So the leap that I took, and, and it's on page 69. I call it the cool thing about niches or niches, whichever way you'd like to say it. This big leap for me, I quit my job working for on an executive team for the United States Postal Service. I was making good money, golden handcuffs, all kinds of great benefits. I took a leap because I knew that coaching was my passion. It was my calling. It's what I wanted to do. But I also took some practical steps to make sure that I could start my coaching business on, a, on a, the right path, on a good foot. I actually uh, bought an apartment house at the time, sold my regular house, got an apartment house so I could have some income coming in. I cut down on my expenses. I did not quit my job until I had 10 clients and I had a basic idea of how to do marketing to keep to, to sustain the income for a while until I learned more. So I write that story. The cool thing about niches, because that's what I found really helped me get started, take that big leap. So I believe in those big leaps, but I also believe in having a safety net so that you can take that big leap with confidence. And I think of responsibility and moving forward in the work you love. Go do it. And if you need support, just reach out. I'd be happy to give you any tips you need if you're just getting started or if you're getting ready to take another leap. How many of you are ready to do that? Because having a coaching business, there's always, we always have to keep putting ourselves out there and doing that new thing. But the good news about it is it's always fun. What's the leap you're ready to take? I'd love to know. Put that down there in the chat. I check these videos. I check your messages because I want to know what are other coaches out there doing? What have you found that works? What are your questions? Where are you stuck? If you're ready to take a big leap, but maybe you don't have that safety net, right? It's about strategy and soul. That's, that's what I know. Get that strategy in place. Listen to your soul. Put them together and go.